<laughs> and so I said, honey, I didn't know you were quite so keen on the quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> he did. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, but anyway, enough about us. Heather, tell us about your mystery man. Uh, well, you'll get to meet him soon enough. He should be here any minute. Thank you again for inviting us over. Chuck and I don't get out very much. Well, out of his bed, that is. Ooh, okay. hi, girl. <laughs> well, what's this Chuck like? Well, he is unlike any man I've ever met. I had just about given up on dating in this city. So many hypocrites, you know? Mm -hmm. Guys claiming to be true progressives, but really not doing anything about it. But then... Then I met Chuck, and it was like a breath of fresh air. Aw, how did you guys meet? At the park, he was sitting on a bench, feeding the birds, and my heart just melted. Aww. <laughs> you always were a sucker for animals. Ah, guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Chuck. <laughs> Ahoy there. Hey, you. <laughs> so dirty all the time. Digging. Just digging? Well, Chuck is a true conservationist. He's always picking up trash in the park and reusing things that other people threw away. And he always asks me if I'm going to finish what I'm eating. He just hates waste. It's so inspiring. Honey, this is Meredith and Jason. Oh, where are my manners? Um, ahoy! <laughs> Welcome aboard. Uh, uh, would you uh, like a beverage? I, I've got crap brews in the kitchen. Uh, brother. Oh, oh. Is that malt liquor? Fine choice. Mm. You gotta feed the goose till he brings home your pocket wash. Indeed. Oh, isn't he hilarious? I just love the way his mind works. Sometimes he just shouts the craziest things out of nowhere. It's hysterical. <laughs> He's a hoot. <laughs> Heather, you said he was the outdoorsy type. Yeah, he's an avid outdoorsman. In fact, he had set up a campsite right behind the bench where I first saw him. <laughs> really? <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, he calls it urban camping. It's actually a fad right now. There are tents popping up all over downtown these days. Huh. Yeah, I think I've seen those. But Chuck says he was the original urban camper. He is so creative. You wouldn't believe the kinds of shelters he can make out of just regular old cardboard. No, oh, I believe it. It's a nice tent you got here. He means your house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Oh, uh, Heather was telling us about your tent in the park. Must be nice to get out of the house every once in a while. Yes. That tent is where Chuck and I first made love. <laughs> Whoa. Sex in public, how kinky, you dirty old dog, you. You mind if I? Sure, go right ahead. Ooh. Looks like he's a coin collector, too. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure, what's up? Heather, how do I put this delicately? It's Chuck. You love him, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, He's clearly not of the honed persuasion, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's an avid outdoorsman. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? You think he's homeless? What? What was that lover? Nothing! <laughs> she said, no homeless. No homeless? Yeah! <laughs> uh, we used to have uh, uh, garden gnomes out front, but when you know it, we decided to go gnomeless. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did notice a lack of gnomes. They're good for the soil. I never thought the two of you would be like the rest of them. Hypocrites. Unwilling to do what it takes to save the environment. Just because he's a little bit of a hippie, you two label him like that? Well, check your fucking privilege. I am dating a man with a beautiful soul. He is on the cutting edge of a new environmentalist trend and you two buttoned up squares just don't get it. Urban camping is a way of life. It's about the earth, right, Chuck? Mm, yeah, but gotta love the earth. <laughs> no, not now. Maybe you're right. I'm sorry, Chuck. Maybe we've been uh, too close-minded, you know, too quick to judge. 
Yeah, forgive us, Chuck. We really do care about the environment. We recycle and, oh, and we reuse those shopping bags. Ugh, Chuck, it's not enough. We teach us how to be urban campers. <clears throat> I suppose I could spin you a yarn or two. So the first thing you got to tire bill is probably trash fire. Now, cardboard burns real good, but a tire burns hot and it's smoking too. Chuck, did you, did you shit yourself? Oh yeah, I'll Ah, come on, no!